It's the favorite child syndrome for me. Welcome to the Hoop Scoop. This is your girl TT, and I've been seeing everyone have an opinion on the Caitlin Clark file and the CC effect as a whole. I mean, this was even covered on Good Morning America and The View. Well, here's my opinion, and it might not be popular, but I am okay with that. Everyone has decided that the only reason people are watching the WNBA is because of Caitlin Clark, but I will tell you honestly that the person that pulled me back into watching women's college basketball was Angel Reese and the LSU Tigers of 2023. I didn't even know who Caitlin Clark was until the famous face taunt. So that being said, I assure you that if Caitlin Clark was the sole player to go to the WNBA this year, I would not have been excited. And that's no shade on Caitlin. She is an amazing shooter, and that should not be discredited. Now, about the foul. My first opinion was that it should not have happened. My second opinion was that a person could be hit by a vehicle driving at a low speed and not fall that far. I'm serious. There are floppers in the NBA, college, and WNBA, and we know who they are, and we just call them out for it and keep it moving. My opinion is that she's going to milk this for all it's worth, and it's not helping the WNBA narrative. The WNBA and the refs are the ones taking the L for this. Fouls are happening every game, so let's be careful not to focus so much attention on one person getting fouled. If it's an issue for one, then it has to be an issue for all. And for those stating that Aaliyah Boston and the other Indiana Fever players should have taken up for her, I say to them, when was the last time you got into a fight on your job for a coworker? I'm waiting. I didn't think so. So that's all I have to say about it. Thank you so much for joining us. Please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.